Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest for 22. Find minimum time to reach last room one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, I think this one is a little. I, um, I want to say that. Um, yeah, I, I want to say this one can be a little deceptive. I think one thing that I was way tempted to do was for this particular problem is dynamic programming. Um, I don't know how many people have tried dynamic programming, but you'll find that, of course, um, you'll act, it'll actually not work. The reason why it doesn't work is because, well, um, there's no specific way to move through the rooms, right? Um, it's very easy to look at a grid going from the top left and the bottom right to just think that you can only go down and le uh, down and right or something like this right in a in a way and i made this mistake in previous contests before on this stage which is why i'm bringing it up now perhaps but yeah but you can actually like imagine a case where you snick all the way around right you go you basically do a snake like uh shoot and letters or something so basically the, the way to do this is treat the, treat this as the shortest path problem and that's really the, uh, the idea. Um, the key thing is noting that, I mean, you know, the number of, um, I mean, you probably could actually be a little bit lazier uh, than that, but I honestly, um, for me during the contest, I saw it as the shortest path and I didn't really ask for more things. There's 2,500 notes. Um, so any reasonable uh, solution should be f fine, right? Um, even N squares probably cutting it close, but reasonably fast enough. Uh, and you, you're also not going to do n square. I mean, there is an n square Dijkstra's algorithm or v square Dijkstra's algorithm if you prefer. Um, but eh, I don't know. Probably you shouldn't be doing it unless you know what you're doing in either case. Um, so yeah. So as I said, this is a shortest path problem. So I solved it with Dijkstra's algorithm. Um, this is a little bit on the longer side, but it is just really Dijkstra's algorithm. Um, the, the thing to look at, um, I'm just going to go over the code really, but it is pretty template-y. Um, not to say that I, I uh, copy and paste it, though I did do that for Q3 because it is a very similar problem. For that video, check that out. But um, but I just type it from scratch because I, I feel like... I feel like knowing all the places to make changes is sometimes more tricky than just typing it itself. But yeah, but I store the best um, result for every node. I, I have a heap. It has the distance, x and y. And then, um, and then yeah, for the rest, if we're already at the end, then we can break because this is Dijkstra. This Dijkstra is greedy. And greedy means that the first time you, you actually uh, relax a node, it is going to be the best value that you get. This is just going left, uh, up, down, left, right, or four directions trying. Um, and then, yeah. And these are just, um, honestly, I mean, this is just our bounds, checking that it is not our bounds, rather. Uh, and this is obvious, honestly, um, it's a little bit, could be tricky, but it is just reading the problem correctly. So, yeah. So it is basically either the distance plus one or the maximum time that you can move in plus one. So we just kind of, you can think about it as just standing there and wait until the move time plus one to move in. And then we update the best if if we are able to, and then we go go down the heap and up uh, with this, you know, the best, the distance X and Y, right? And then the best R1, R minus one, C minus one. Um, one thing that I would point out is that um, in the academic slash textbook version of Dijkstra. Um, this happens, people, I feel like people get tripped up by this a lot and I sometimes I, I do from time to time just because I forget, but you have to remember this line. This line is very subtle, but the thing is that in the academic version of the, or the textbook version of Dijkstra, there is um, an update heap function, right? An update min or something like this, I've, you know. And basically that's what you would do here. Instead of pushing a new item, you would update the min, right? Um, and, you know, and updating min in a heap is not difficult, but it's not easy either uh, to do yourself anyway. You, you just move up and down the heap, right? Anyway, uh, and it will take like log n or whatever. But the reason why we have this line instead is so that, um, because here it is possible that for the same n, x, n, y for each state, we, we input a node into he into the heap multiple times. In fact, because each node has four edges, um, up, down, left, right, you can push the same node into the uh, heap four times, right? Um, but here, you don't want to 
basically do all these operations four different times. You only want to do it the first time you do it. Why? Well, first of all, it's greedy, right? Like I said, the first time you see a node, that's going to be your best node. That means that everything else afterwards is never going to be optimal because, for example, if the first time you visit XY, it is time one, you do the math to look at his all his neighbors, okay? The second time, for whatever reason, it is time three or something, then you're like, well, everything afterwards still happens at the same time. Technically, it's non-linear because of this max function, but either way, it is going to be non. Uh, it is going to be monotonically uh, in uh, greater, right? It's going to be at least greater than your thing. So you're doing extra work for no reason. So this, the, I think I I usually write it this way as a result of just the past. But another way that you can think about it is that maybe you can just say like you know, uh, you, you use force, right? It means that we have. Uh, and this force used maybe uh, uh, whether we already we've already relaxed this node, and then it, here, uh, you know, instead of having this, you, you may consider. Um, and if I was doing this educate on uh, like my educational daily video, I might have done it this way. I would have uh, if used x y then we contain you because we already relaxed it. Otherwise, we set x, y, z equal to true, so that just to make sure that we only do it once. Um, so that's basic, and, but this is a, another way to write it because uh, when best of, you know that for each distinct value of d, you only um, put it in the heap once, right? Because it has to be strictly less than to be put in the heap. And so if it is not, um, if d is not the same as this, then that means that you, this is not the first time you relaxed it, which is why you continue. Um, anyway, so ju just a little bit of a thing. Uh, like I said, this, this is a different interpretation, but yeah. Uh, otherwise, this is a straight dystrous algorithm. What's the complexity here? It is going to be uh, relog y, right? Because for each each node, we relax it once, and we look at each of its node um uh, a lot of times or four times or whatever or each of the edges four times and and the heap can have at most log v element or sorry log y elements because of the lazy heap so yeah so that's pretty much it that's all i have for this one let me know what you think q3 is actually very similar um if you notice a couple of observations but the key thing is that n and m is a lot bigger but but that's fine so yeah um, anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you could watch me solve it live in the contest next. This is why you test. What's the difference? There's something different about it, and it's not just N, so uh, maybe that is it as well. All right, let's focus. Inside DP, but okay, whatever. So what are you doing now?
one. Start moving. Okay, so that means that is max of t and move time of x and y. I could terminate early too. Well, this is just wrong as well. D plus. One is just way wrong. Hmm. Oh, can you go? No. One, two, three, yeah. Hmm, that is weird. That is not right, that's why this is okay, that makes sense. Okay. Is there a negative one? No. Okay. How many people have this one? I was a little bit slow on it, honestly. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, uh, the problem, the explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.